we're asked to determine the indefinite integral, which is the same as determining the antiderivative. If we take a look at the integrand function in the integration formula shown here on the right, notice how we don't have an integration formula for cotangent squared x, which means we'll have to change the form of the function in order to determine the antiderivative or indefinite integral. Notice how there is a common factor of seven in the integrand function. Let's begin by factoring out the seven. This gives us the integral of seven times the quantity one plus cotangent squared x dx. In this form, we should be able to recognize we could perform a substitution for one plus cotangent squared x using the Pythagorean identity, one plus cotangent squared x equals cosecant squared x. And therefore, the given integral is equal to the integral, or more specifically, the indefinite integral of seven cosecant squared x dx. And notice how here there is a formula for the integral of cosecant squared x dx, which is negative cotangent x plus c. And therefore, the antiderivative or indefinite integral is equal to seven times negative cotangent x plus c. Simplifying, we have negative seven cotangent x plus c as the indefinite integral or antiderivative. And we often identify, and we often identify the antiderivative or indefinite integral using a capital letter, meaning we can state the antiderivative or indefinite integral as big F of x equals negative seven cotangent x plus c, which means this is the family of functions whose derivative is equal to the given integrand function of seven plus seven cotangent squared x. And let's go ahead and check this. If we differentiate big F of x, we have negative seven times the derivative of cotangent x, which just to review is equal to negative cosecant squared x. and the derivative of the constant c is zero. Simplifying here, we have seven cosecant squared x. And from here we might think, wait a minute, this is not correct because the original integrand function is seven plus seven cotangent squared x. But again, referring back to the Pythagorean identities, we can now substitute one plus cotangent squared x for cosecant squared x, which does give us seven times the quantity one plus cotangent squared x which is the factored form that we had earlier, which if we expand is seven plus seven cotangent squared x. So this does verify that the indefinite integral or the antiderivative that we found, big F of x is correct. I hope you found this helpful.